Boris finds himself on a plane with someone who tested positive for the old Kung Flu. Alok Sharma goes globetrotting around to 30 different countries in his position as climate secretary. How ironic. Doesn't isolate when he comes home, despite the fact he's gone to about five or six different red countries, passing through each one in turn. It doesn't stop there. How do everyone? Welcome back to the channel for Sunday. Hope you're doing all right. Well, here's another story for you about isolation dodging members of parliament, members of the elite who don't give two shits about what the rest of us think and feel and pretty much do what they like. Well, today we talk about Dominic Raab. You see, he went to France, which happens to be on the Amber Plus list, which means you have to quarantine when you come back to the UK from said country. He was over there on official government business. Have a look. Yes, it would appear yet again there is this exemption that you can have, which is, I think, page 122 of the MP's handbook, which says you can go abroad wherever you like, come back and don't have to isolate and be damned what the British public feel and think about it because we will just carry on regardless. Well, when he came back, he used this apparent ministerial exception just like the other two did. And he went for a meeting with the president of Kenya. And roughly on the same time, he was seen standing in front of Princess Anne. So the guy goes abroad to a country where it apparently is on the Amber Plus list, France, comes back, dodges isolation using the code, I think we should all get access to this personally. We could all pretend we're ministers and uh, go wherever we like and do whatever we like. That'd be quite nice. That's called normal life. He then goes to meetings, including with Princess Anne, who, no offence, ma'am, uh, you're uh, getting on a bit and probably considered in one of those high-risk categories, and pretends like there's nothing wrong and his actions are perfectly justifiable. Meanwhile, the rest of us are going through all the motions of wondering what the hell's going to happen next. Complete hypocrisy, complete double standard, complete insult, complete offence. I don't know about you, but I for one have had enough. Speaking of which, I'm signing off. Toodaloo!